Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're gonna to talk about how we can multiply the side lengths to find the area. And we're gonna talk about how we can use smaller rectangles to help us solve the area of a larger rectangle. So our learning goal for today says, I can analyze different rectangles and reason about their area. So that means we're gonna be looking at different area or different rectangles, and we're gonna be talking about how those areas can help us or uh, solve the area of larger rectangles. So we're gonna reason about how those smaller ones can help us find the area of larger ones. So the materials that you're gonna need for this lesson are your whiteboard, your lesson nine template that looks like this, your lesson nine problem set, which looks like this. So you need those sets of materials. Make sure you grab those um, and then click play when you're ready to go over and start the lesson together. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna be working on problem one on your problem set. However, the first thing that you need is your lesson template. So you need to cut that out. So if you go back to here, your lesson template is up on the right-hand side above my head there. You're gonna to have to cut out that square and then we're gonna need it for problem one. So make sure you cut it out and then pause to do that and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so here's our rectangle. How can we cut this centimeter grid to get two equal rectangles? Where would we cut it? Yeah, we can cut it right here or you can cut it up and down too vertically. Either way is fine as long as the same as on both sides. So you're gonna grab your scissors now, friends, and I want you to cut across just here where I did, whoop. And then you should be left with two rectangles like this. So go ahead and pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends. So I want you to draw and label the side lengths of both of your rectangles. So that's problem 1A on your problem set. So you don't need to draw in the grid lines, just draw the rectangles, and you're gonna count the rectangles on each side to be able to find the side links, and then you can label them on your drawing on problem 1a. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here we have 10 centimeters and five centimeters. Both of these rectangles are the same, so both have the side links of five and 10. All right, so here we have side lengths. These two sides of a rectangle are called the length. And what is the value of each length? Yeah, it's 10 centimeters, awesome. And then here we have on the sides, this is our width. This is what we call width. To find the area, remember we've talked a little bit about this already, length times width. So you're multiplying those two sides together. What's the value of each width of our rectangles? Yeah, it's five centimeters, great. How can you find the area of one of the rectangles? Yeah, we can multiply the side lengths, right? So we could do length times width. So here's one. Let's look at one B. Write an equation to find the area of one of the rectangles. So go ahead and pause the video. Write your multiplication equation to find the area of one of this of the rectangles. Remember, they're both the same, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. So go ahead and pause and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends. Here's what I came up with. Five times 10 equals 50, because I multiplied each side, the width times the length for this one, to come up with 50. Now let's look at problem 1C. I want you to write an equation to show the total area of the two rectangles. So if we know that one of the rectangles, the area is 50, what would be the total area of two of the rectangles? So go ahead and write an equation for problem 1C in your problem set, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. So you could come up with 50 plus 50 
because we know that each, the first rectangle that we found the area for was 50 square units. So you could just double that and add it to itself to come up with the total area. You also could write two multiplication facts and add them together. So we know that five times 10, five times 10 was the area of the first rectangle. Then we would add that to the area of the second rectangle, which is also five times 10, which would give us 100. So the total area of the two rectangles is 100 square centimeters. Now remember, you have to include the unit that says square centimeters because the centimeters is what they're measuring in. And when you're finding the area, you're finding the square area of something. So that's why you have to label it as square centimeters. Don't just label it as 100. Don't just label it as 100 centimeters. It's 100 square centimeters. Okay, friends, so now we're gonna place your rectangles next to each other to make one long rectangle. So like I did here, but you're gonna push them together to make one long rectangle. See, now I have one long one because I just squished them together. Make sure they're not overlapping. So go ahead and do that with your two rectangles as well. Okay, so what do you think the area of this long rectangle is and why? Oh, somebody said 100 square centimeters. Why do you think that? Oh yeah, you're totally right. It's because the two square centimeter, or the two squares that we had, or two rectangles, excuse me, that we had, they were the same and all we did was just push them together. So if we add those two rectangles together, it's gonna give us the same as the one long one. Great thinking. So 100 square centimeters is the area of this long rectangle. Draw and label the side lengths of this rectangle. So go ahead and pause the video, draw on your whiteboard, or I'm sorry, on problem in your problem set 2A, draw and label the side lengths of this rectangle. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't draw in your grid lines, okay? Just count what the side lengths are, and then just give a rectangle that models about that size. All right, friends, make sure to pause the video, do that, and click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, so we have 20 centimeters and five centimeters. What multiplication fact can help you find the area of this longer rectangle? Okay, go ahead and write that down for 2B and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, so five times 20. You're right, because you're just multiplying the side lengths. How can you solve five times 20? That's kind of a tricky one, right? So it's five times two tens, right? Because 20 is two tens, right? Or you could write it like this, is five times two times 10, because that's two tens, make 20. Hmm, wait, wait, you could use the associative property to make things easier. You could move those parentheses because your parentheses where they are right now are gonna lead you right back to five times 20, but that can be a larger, uh, more trickier problem to solve. So if we move our parentheses and switch them around the first group so we can regroup the numbers, five times two times 10. Well, we know five times two, that's easy, right? That's 10, so 10 times 10. Oh, we could do that one pretty easy, right? You could just count by 10 to 10 times, or we know that 10 tens equals 100. So the total area for this rectangle is 100 square centimeters. So friends, look at that. It's Remember, we just came up with that. There are two smaller rectangles combined were 100 square centimeters. And then when I did combine this into one larger rectangle, I still have 100 square centimeters. So just breaking those into the two smaller parts can help me to be able to find the area of a larger rectangle. Okay, so awesome. All right, so friends here, let's take one of our rectangles. So you have the two that you just used. Take one of the rectangles and fold two columns behind the rectangle. So we're trying to make this rectangle smaller. Okay, so where I have that red line, you're gonna take two of those columns 
and you're going to fold it backwards. So now you're going to have these two rectangles. Okay. So draw these on your dry erase board and label the side links. So these ones are not going to be on your problem set. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. If it's a little tricky to use your rectangles, that's fine. You could just look right on the screen and use mine. Okay, so pause. Go ahead and draw these rectangles on your dry erase board with labeling the side links. Then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so here are my side links. I have five centimeters and eight centimeters. Then this rectangle is five centimeters also and 10 centimeters. So we're gonna find the area of each rectangle. So go ahead and pause the video. You're gonna find the area of each rectangle and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. I'm sure you might need some extra time if you didn't get to that pause button yet. So here we go. All right, so we have five times eight equals 40 because we're just multiplying those side lengths. And then the other one is five times 10 equals 50. So if I take both of these rectangles and I push them together, what do you think is going to be the area of the new rectangle? Yeah, it's probably gonna be the same as combining just the area of each one of those rectangles. Okay, so now we have them moved together to how we have our new rectangle. Now the side lengths are five centimeters and 18 centimeters. Well, that's kind of a tricky problem to solve, right? So we can just go back to using the same measurements that we had before. You could kind of draw a line right down there if you wanted to, to separate where those two rectangles were. But I want you guys to find the area of this new rectangle. Hint, hint, use the measurements that you just did. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and click pause, solve the area, uh, or find the area of the new rectangle, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, if you need more time, make sure to click pause, otherwise here we go. So I went back to my measurements that I had before, where the rectangle was five times eight equals 40, and five times 10 equals 50. If I look at this, I can kind of check myself by saying eight and 10 make 18. So that's giving me that total side length as I'm going through. This is like we're using the distributive property almost as we're breaking apart that 18 into an eight and a 10. So I'm just gonna add those together. So we know that five times eight equals 40 and five times 10 equals 50. So if I combine those two together, I'm gonna get 90. So the total area of the new rectangle is 90 square centimeters. All right, did you guys get that too? Awesome. All right, so good job, friends, analyzing the area of different rectangles to be able to help you solve and find the area of a larger rectangle. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. You're pretty lucky because we already did problem one and two on the problem set together, so you only have the rest of it to complete. But as always, if you have any questions, please let me know, I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye friends.